feud over the fate of the executors continues. On Friday, Randy Jackson tweeted, it is my fear and belief that they are trying to take my mother's life. And joining us now are Tom Mesereau, Michael Jackson's defense attorney and family friend, and Brooke Anderson, co-anchor of The Insider. They're both up early this morning in Los Angeles. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. And Tom, let's start with uh, the end of what Randy Jackson was saying there on his blog post. He went on to say this, the same people that are trying to manipulate my mother are the same people that were involved with my brother when he died. Serious, serious allegations right there. Um, who is he talking about? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I suspect he's talking about the people who run the Jackson estate. There's tremendous tension between family members and those that run the Jackson estate. From the family point of view, they're seeing lawyers and, and third parties make millions and millions of dollars off uh, Michael's estate. They don't think this is fair. They're suspicious about the will. The will says it was executed in Los Angeles when everyone has proven that Michael was in New York. And there are other issues. So there's continuing tension over not only the size of this estate, but how, it, uh, how it's managed, how it's, it's divvied out. And I don't think that tension is going to dissipate anytime soon. And that's quite a backdrop for a performance last night. Brooke, what about that? They have all this going on behind the scenes, and then they put on a show. How'd that work out? Right. I mean, it seemed that their family was imploding right before our very eyes, and the whole dispute was being played out on Twitter, bizarrely. I Tom, for as much talk as there is here about family and a custody battle, the way you describe this makes it sound like the battle is really over one thing, and that is money. Well, any large family is going to have conflicts from time to time. When you throw in fame and fortune at this level, when you have a family that's been under a media fishbowl for many, many generations, uh, you're going to have even more problems. And these things will flare up from time to time. Uh, I don't know how bad the differences really were between certain siblings of Michael uh, and his children, but clearly uh, they escalated uh, partly because of media attention, and hopefully they'll straighten out. But to think that everything's going to be smooth uh, every second of the day is just not realistic. And by the way, these estate issues are not unusual for large estates. You often see heirs, non-heirs, third parties, all in the mix, all going to court, all suspicious about who drafted the will, why it was signed, when it was signed, who got the provisions in included in the will. Uh, this is not unusual. It's just that the Jacksons are so, uh, are so popular and, and, and public attention is, always seems to be directed at them. Okay, we'll leave it right there. Tom Messereau and Brooke Anderson, thank you very much this morning on the Jacksons from Los Angeles.